Here's a look at what's going on. We've got clear skies out there right now. Not much happening at this point, and we do have a nice weekend on the way. Warm temperatures, and we do have a storm into next week. That one's not looking as good. I'll talk about that in just a moment. 63 degrees in the metro winds. Not a big factor right now. Very nice evening out there. 60 in Farmington, 56 Durango, 58 in the state capital, and down across the south. Temperatures mainly in the 60s at this point. The temperature differences between now and 24 hours ago, we are really seeing a significant and consistent warm up across the state. Anywhere from about 6 to 12 degrees warmer in most areas of New Mexico today. We will warm up a couple more degrees for tomorrow. And as you can tell, there's not much in the way of cloud cover that's a factor across the southwest. Ridge of high pressure to our west, locking everything out of here so we don't see much in the way of clouds and no chance of showers through the weekend. So look for clear skies tonight. Relatively cool, but considering the time of year, not a big deal. Tomorrow going to be warm once again out there with that high pretty much dominating our weather. Now we start to see some changes into Sunday. We are going to push in a little bit of cool air into the northeast. Not a huge cold front that's going to have a massive impact, but it does start a chain of events that will allow for some weather changes by Monday into Tuesday because we're going to drive a little trough into here with another cold front as well. Now the question is, what kind of impact is this system going to have? And it is trending to have less and less of an impact where it curls in what we call a scraper. It hits the northern mountains and then curls across the northeast, giving us a shot at some snow showers here and some light to moderate northern mountain snow accumulations. Let's wait and see what happens with this. If you remember with the last system, it started trending to where it wasn't so great, and then it delivered a nice punch of snow for the northern mountains. So let's wait and see how this thing ends up going out. But at least at this point, we don't like necessarily the trend that we're headed in for statewide precip. Now, as far as the cloud cover goes, not much during the day tomorrow, but we start to increase the clouds during the day on Sunday, early Sunday morning. You can see some clouds around the boot heel, and then we push up some more cloud cover across the southwest and south central sections throughout the day. So that does sort of signify a bit of a change. And by the way, as we look out a week or so, it does look like the overall pattern does change to more of a stormy pattern about a week away from now and less of this high pressure dominated weather we've been seeing. 60 in Durango, 58 Pagosa Springs, 55. In Alamosa, plenty of sunshine, a warmer day on the way for the northwest, too. Looks very good here. 67 in Gallup, out in Cuba, 60 degrees. Southwest looks good, too. 67 in Las Cruces, 68 in TRC. You guys in Glenwood and Camado, 60s and 70s, very, very nice. Over to the southeast, plenty of sunshine and temperatures in the low 70s. Temperatures drop, though, Monday into Tuesday with highs eventually in the 40s. Eventually going to top out right around 40 across the northeast by Tuesday. No precip in the forecast there for now. Let's wait and see. Really, that has to do with that trending we're talking about. But over the northern mountains, we do still have some snow in the forecast for Tuesday, which we could, of course, use. 62 in Edgewood, 64 in Mountaineer, and 65 in Tejeras. Finally, here in the metro area, temperatures topping out in the 60s after a morning spent in the 20s and 30s. More cloud cover for Tuesday for now and cooler temperatures. No showers yet. All right. Thank you, Mark.